My name is Eric Ravels. I'm 50 years old and I am gay. Uh, my name is Freddie Lewis. I am 19 and I am a homosexual male. I'm James. I'm 19 years old and I'm gay. I thought about it for years and I guess what I feared most was some kind of backlash from my family members more so than, than anybody else, friends or work-wise or anything like that. I was also scared that there would be people or communities in my life that may not have accepted me or um, accepted who I was. I had no idea, I couldn't fathom what exactly that meant just because I never experienced being gay. I mean, coming out wasn't something that I had thought about because I never thought that I would have to do it. I felt like it was time. Uh, I was coming up on the age of 18. I, pr I pretty much was 18. Um, and I felt as if it was time for me to accept who I was. And it was time for uh, everyone else to know um, who I was and what I was. Um, that sounds so negative really just got to me at a point that I could, you know, die or get hit by a bus at any minute or something and no one would really know who I was. So I felt like I was kind of living a lie and I wasn't, I wasn't true to myself and I, I just stopped uh, wanting to do that. I wanted to be myself and damn if anybody else, you know, <laughs> had a problem with it. It just came, it just came to that point where I didn't, I didn't care what anybody else thought. It was honestly a roller coaster to where I just couldn't really stay on one track and I felt like I had to just be somebody else to be myself <laughs> because I felt like I had to justify it. I was like, if I'm gay, then I'm going to be gay. Then I'm going to say I like guys and I'm going to act like a woman or I'm going to be extremely flamboyant. And that's just, it wasn't necessary. So my sister was my best friend. Uh, growing up, so she was the first one who I wanted to come out to. Um, but I was hesitant about telling her because she ended up getting married to someone who was in the closet and later came out during their marriage, so I always thought that she would have a, a problem with that. So uh, as much as I wanted to tell her, her to be first, I had a great fear about, you know, what she might, you know, how she might feel about that. But I still made it my priority to make her the first one I wanted to tell. It wasn't a big surprise, it wasn't a tear-jerking moment, um, but it was something that was really important that was on my plate, and both my mom and my dad were like, we knew, um, we accept you, we love you, you're still our son, that whole spiel of we love you and we accept you. With my mother, I had told her that I had to talk to her and it was just kind of a casual conversation that I wanted to have. I didn't want to make it like over dramatic or like, oh my gosh, I'm gay. Like, you know, like I didn't want to ham it up in any way that I needed to. So I just wanted to have a casual conversation with her. The biggest thing to conquer is, uh, is being happy with, with who you are, coming to terms with it yourself. That, that's the, that's the biggest hurdle. That was my biggest hurdle. And, uh, from, 99.9% .9 of my uh, gay and lesbian friends, that was the biggest hurdle is admitting it to yourself and being comfortable with who you are. And once uh, you come to terms with that truth of who you are, then it, it, it makes it easier to, to, to let others know. And we all come to that at different points of our lives. And you don't have to justify yourself for other people. If you're gay, then you're gay. Like there's no stereotype that you have to follow. You don't have to be extremely masculine or extremely feminine. Uh, you don't, I mean, and if you want to be, then cool. Like, who cares? But if you're so interested in coming out and that's what you want to do, I mean, I know tons of people that are afraid to, but if that's something that you honestly want to do, then do it because as frightening as it may be, like behind closed doors or in the closet, you will feel so much better once like, it's a huge weight lifted off of your shoulders. I think that if you know who you are, then you're ready to tell others who you are. Awesome.